Science is making significant gains in helping more people overcome infertility and fulfill their dreams of creating a family. But medical help isn't the only option. Tonight we conclude our special series with a Peoria couple who chose another path in their journey to become parents. Nancy and Tom Feldman started planning for a family right after getting married. But after years of trying on their own and with some fertility treatments, they faced a harsh reality. It wasn't working. Um, I wasn't getting pregnant. And not having a family wasn't an option for us. Nancy was diagnosed with endometriosis, a condition that can make conception difficult. Doctors wanted the Feldmans to consider in vitro fertilization to boost their chances, but Nancy wasn't sold. IVF was a big, um, it, was a bi it was hard for me. I didn't, I didn't want to do it because um, it's a lot of drugs and a big time commitment um, and it's expensive and there's no guarantee and I just I didn't know if I after going through all that we had gone through if it didn't work if I would be able to be okay. Nancy and Tom still considered moving forward with IVF but also started looking into adoption. It was another chance to bring a child into their lives but it wasn't an easy decision. And there was like a mourning period that I would say that you go through to be able to accept the fact that I will never have my own child, you know, like never be pregnant. Right before their fifth wedding anniversary, the Feldmans received a call from an adoption attorney telling them they were going to be parents. 28 hours later, they met their baby boy, Johnny, for the first time. The minute I saw him, it didn't, I mean, it was, he was, he was our son. 16 months later, they adopted a second son, Charlie. Tom and Nancy were able to meet his birth mother and were at the hospital when he was born. I was the first one to hold him in the nursery and first one to feed him his bottle. And so it was a different experience, um, which I'm glad I got to do. Now Tom and Nancy are parents of two rambunctious and curious little boys. How about if mommy holds it? Nancy says she has no regrets, and she's open to helping others who find themselves in a similar position. After Johnny was born, our first son, I had a couple friends that then kind of started having some struggles, <clears throat> and they never understood all, what I was going through until, um, until they themselves started having some issues, and then, um, and then they would come and talk to me about it. Who's that? No, no. Watching Johnny and Charlie as they grow up together, Nancy says they were meant to be the Feldman's children. And while she may not have given birth to the boys, she believes they couldn't be more firmly planted within her heart. If you want to be a mom, you will. Because, because you will. I mean, some way you will find that baby. And if you have questions about infertility or you'd like more information about local resources, you just visit our website, CIProud.com.